Yes, a lot of people whose houses were not really built for this kind of a hurricane. Uh, a, a Mexican official last night was saying that you would have to go back to 1959 to see a hurricane that could even compare to what we're looking at right now. So it is a very, very dire situation. Um, and at this point, people who want to ev evacuate is way too late already, Hala. All right. Rafael Romo, thanks very much. We'll be staying in touch with you. Patricia is the strongest hurricane ever recorded, the strongest storm of any kind in the Western Hemisphere, according to the U.S. National Hurricane Center. Dennis Feltkin is with the Hurricane Center, and he joins me now on the line from Miami. Uh, Dennis Feltkin, uh, this was a tropical storm just about a day ago. How did it turn so quickly? Well, about two days ago, you're right, we did have a tropical storm, and uh, within 36 hours, we went from a tropical storm to a strong Category 5 hurricane. It's not unprecedented. It's happened before. In fact, it's happened in an even shorter time frame with Hurricane Wilma mm -hmm. in 2005. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that this thing has uh, taken aim toward land at a catastrophic 200 miles per hour. As you said, the strongest hurricane on record in the Western Hemisphere. And how can concerned are you about potential damage here? Well, in a word, catastrophic damage is uh, the uh, potential here. Mm -hmm. The good news is the Category 5 hurricane winds, the worst winds, the 200 mile hours, only extend out about 15 miles from the hurricane eye. So you're probably looking at a, at a band uh, across of about maybe 25, 30 miles, per, uh, 30 miles across that would experience these catastrophic winds. A lot will depend upon where those winds come ashore, if it's over a heavy populated, heavy structured mm -hmm. area. Area, the damage we could see would be catastrophic. The comparison I would make would be to these uh, EF5 tornadoes that we see uh, across the United States during the late spring and early summer. And that kind of damage is what we call catastrophic. That's and where entire buildings are wiped off their slabs. Right, and that's affecting a much larger area. But you expect this to stay a Category 5 sustained for how long? When, when will the storm have passed once it hits? It will come ashore as a Category 5 hurricane. It's officially a landfall once the center intersects with land. And as your reporter was saying earlier, that's about two or three hours away local time. Uh, once it moves inland, it'll be cut off from the fuel that's uh, feeding it, and that's the warm water of the Pacific Ocean. It'll take a little bit to spin down. It'll still be a very powerful hurricane moving several hundred miles inland, but we expect it to lose its tropical characteristics completely sometime over... Uh, tomorrow afternoon over north central Mexico. So difficult 24 hours ahead. Thanks very much Dennis Feldgen with the National Hurricane Center joining us from Miami with more on the on what to expect and more on the concerns of course that uh, many people have for the area, property, people and everyone's safety. Uh, thank you very much. Not only is Patricia the strongest hurricane on record, it's also gained intensity very quickly. We were discussing that. Jennifer